Yes, we are getting another Team of the Week Guarantee SBC. If you want any Ultimate Team coins to buy all those players you want, check out MuleFactory.com. They now cover the 5% EA tax, have super safe comfort and player card trades so you won't get banned. Also, make sure you use my discount code IHAS5 when you do check out to get a discount. What is up? Welcome back to a brand new video and again, we have some League Worst already in the game code that we will be getting a Team of the Week Guarantee SBC for Team of the Week 14 and team of the week 15 but before we get into the video make sure to drop a like to get back on the daily upload grind i was actually away in switzerland the past couple days so i had some video video scheduled but sorry for no video yesterday or the day before but we are back on the daily upload grind and also it would mean the world if you could hit that subscribe button down below the aim was 100k by the end of the year. We're looking a bit far off that, but maybe if we could hit 90,000 subscribers by the end of the year as well, that would be insane. But now, let's get into this. So, in the EA game codes, I will leave a link in the description down below. If I don't, drop a comment reminding me. You can see all of the pack codes and everything in there. You guys probably know if you've seen it before. And if you press Control F on your keyboard, you can actually search for keywords. So, if you do search for Team of the Week, you will see this image here. It will show you this screen here and as you can see we already have the codes of the previous team of the week guarantee as you can see 81 plus team of the week 10 player and another one 81 plus team of the week 10 player so that basically is for the untradable one and the tradable variant of the SBC and you can see we have it twice well twice more for the two extra team of the week so we have it again for team of the week 14 and then we have it for team of the week 15 people have been thinking that it might come out today and if it has come out today, you probably would not have seen this video because I'm recording this at about 5 o'clock. But if it is not out today, we should be getting it before Wednesday because on Wednesday, the Team of the Week 15 will come out. So this SBC needs to come out before Wednesday for the Team of the Week 14. And then maybe we'll get like a 7-day run from the challenge. So maybe it'll start on Christmas Day and then it'll run for 7 days. Who knows? But this SBC will be coming now. The requirements for these SBCs are very simple as well. I will have on the screen the squad I did use to do both of the untradable and the tradable variant. So you can like build the squad already if you want to get your player set. But it's just an 83 rated squad with 30 chemistry for the untradable one. And for the tradable one, I believe it's an 83 rated squad with two informed cards and then 30 chemistry. So here you can see my team of the week 10 upgrade squad. My squad basically has two 84 rated players. A load of 83 and then like 4 82 rated cards. So it's not too expensive to be honest. Especially if you can get your cards in early before the SPC does come out. I know the 83 rated cards have risen up a bit already. But they'll still be cheaper right now than they will be when the SPC does finally come out. Here you can actually see my squad for the tradable variant of the SPC. So again 84 rated players. I have got 2 in this squad in my goalkeeper and centre back. My two informed cards have gone 81 and 82. I believe one of them I did pack in the untradable variant of the SBC. So that's what you can do if you do the untradable one. You don't like your informed card. Just chuck it into the tradable one after because you're not going to use that card anyway. And then again, 83 and 82 rated players. So the squads for these aren't really that hard. What I will show you now is the cards I will be investing in. Basically, I will be buying both of these squads and having a look at some informed investments. If you guys would want to be looking to do the um, tradable variant of the SBC. So if we take a look at the team of the week. Wait, here we go. Team of the week. So here is the current team of the week squad. Team of the week 14. So these players you should be able to get from that SBC. So it's good cards. We've got 94 Neymar. 93 Suarez. We've got a 90 rated Iniesta as well. But cards you want to. Because you will be submitting two of these players. To do the tradable variant of the SBC. And... Ideally, you want them to be a decent enough rating so you don't have to bump up the rest of your squad. So, these 70 rated players, do not bother with. They are too low rated. You want to be looking at 84 to 81 rated players. So, if we take a look at the starting 11, you've got the likes of Savage here. You could have a look at him on the transfer market right now. He's going for around 30,000 coins roughly. So, quite expensive right there for an 83. But an 84 rated card here, again, 30,000 coins around the same price. But personally, if I'd be picking up a couple cards, I'd have a look at uh, Okazaki because he's only going for about 15,000 coins. And then I've got Babel here as well, who's about 15,000 coins. So you either go for just the cheap players who are about 15k or you're going to be paying like 20, 30,000 coins plus. But when it's a one rating difference, I don't really see the point. So I could get these two 81 rated players 
instead of getting an 84 and an 83, all that means is just in my squad I'll need an extra 84 or some more 83 rated players instead of my 82s. I'm actually going to go and pick up my two inform cards now, so I am ready for when the SBC does come out, so I will be able to complete it. I probably will only, actually I'll get two inform cards, depending, because I might get a decent untradeable inform, which I might want to actually keep. So I'll get Okazaki, and I'll actually pick up an inform Babel. I think this is the one. Here we go. So he's going again. He's actually a little bit cheaper. So I paid 17,000 coins for Okazaki, and Babel is around 15k. So he is the go-to card if you need to pick up an inform card for this SPC. Yeah, 14,500 right there. Missed it, but like 15k. Not too bad, to be honest, for an inform card. And he's got an 81 rating, so it's, it's a decent rating as well. But after you've got your inform cards, it is just the investments with your 84s, your 83s, and a couple 82 rated players to finish off your squad. So the first card I'm going to get is Asenjo. Sergio Asenjo, the goalkeeper. As you can see, the 84s have already risen quite a bit in coins. But this is the price they'll sit at anyway when the SPC does come out. So you're looking at about 5.3... 5.4 thousand coins for an 84 which it can be a lot but you can see them rising over 6,000 coins maybe anyway i'll pick up a laporte as well so we get a decent bit of chemistry between these two cards and you can just see already i should have checked the price of the other 84s because laporte i could pick up for 4.7 thousand coins and that ascendio card it cost me over 5k so you need to like have a look through all of the 84 rated cards to if you want to like save most coins per card like you can save like a good two three hundred coins per card if you do like look into all of the 84 rated players to see who you want to pick up i'm going to get another player from the la liga just because it will be a bit easier for chemistry i know you only need 30 chemistry but it just helps out in the long run so i don't have to like fiddle around with players so i pick up a coca here so then i've got 384 rated players that should cover me for one of the squads I'd recommend saying you get four 84s so you can use two for each challenge. And then it's just the case of filling out your squad with the 83. So I'm going to pick up Vitolo, 83, Spanish League again to make that chemistry a bit easier. So Vitolo again, these 83 cards are about 2.67 thousand coins. If you look back a couple weeks, they were going for like 1.5 thousand coins. So they've already risen up quite a bit, but... It isn't too bad buying them now. Like, it could be a lot worse. I'll pick up a Juan Fran as well. Again, Spanish League. Easy chemistry. If you're going out to buy your players, you may as well buy some, which you're going to get guaranteed chemistry so you don't have to, like, fiddle around with it anyway uh, in the end. And I'll pick up an Aspas to finish off my 83 rated card. So, Aspas, he's going for about 2.8 thousand coins. So, again, same range, 83s. You're looking at 2.7 to 3,000 coins for them. So I've got enough 84s. I've got a few 83 rated cards as well. So I just filled in some other players I had in my club. And here is a squad. I get 82 rating. I just need to get that up by one. It's a bit messed up because I'm not actually in an SBC. So it does actually count the bench rating. But this squad should get you that chemistry and the rating in the end anyway. So again, two 84 rated players. A couple of 83 rated cards, get three or maybe four, your two informed players, and then the rest 82s to fill in the rest of your squad. So I've got easy chemistry with my Spanish links, and then the rest of the cards to get that rating up. And I've got my two informed players, which will be required. So this challenge, these players will be enough for me to complete the team of the week tradable. And for the untradable one, I'd get rid of the two informed cards, and then I could just sub in some gold players because it's still an 83 rating. So since they're both an 81, if I sub in two 82 rated cards, I could downgrade both 84s to 83s, or I could downgrade some 83 to 82 rated cards. So it's quite simple, easy SBC, fingers crossed, we get it maybe tomorrow or the day after. We will be getting it though before Wednesday, 100%, unless EA put it in the code and then don't want to give it to us. But we should be getting it before Wednesday, because it is actually active for the team of the week 14. And it's also active for Team of the Week 15. So usually, it's only over a week period. I think we'll get a Christmas Day, to be honest. Because people will be opening packs on Christmas Day. EA want to get some cards off the market as well. They'll give us a mad Team of the Week, hopefully, for next week as well for Team of the Week 15. Because it's a good Team of the Week already. So usually, EA give us a good Team of the Week when we have those guaranteed packs. So you can get the likes of the Neymar, the Suarez. And hopefully next week, we can get like a Ronaldo, Messi, Hazard... Just some mad players in general. 
But thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Daily uploads are back. I don't know if I will be uploading on Christmas Day, but except from Christmas Day, the daily upload should be back. And we're going to head strong into the new year. And I don't know, I'll have a think about what, how many subscribers we should aim for by the end of next year. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you on my next video. Don't show up to my show if you've got no energy. 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 Energy.